I, Donald John Trump, do solemnly swear. I, Donald John Trump, do solemnly swear. For millions all over the United States, the inauguration of President Donald Trump had vastly different reactions. For Trump supporters, it was all smiles, excitement, and hope of what the next four years might bring. For Trump opponents, however, well... Donald J. Trump is now President of the United States. In an election that polarized the entire country, Trump supporters were eager to see the transition of power from President Barack Obama to President Trump. But protesters in Washington, D.C. were adamant that Trump was not their president, leading to chaos and violence. But for Cabrini students Michelle Guerin and Danielle Perez, they see the inauguration in a positive light, as it was the first election they truly felt part of. It was uh, the first time voting, which is huge, and then just seeing that unfold, kind of like the process of voting and then kind of watching the numbers myself and kind of being in tune because my opinion was in there. So that whole thing was that's different to me because before it'd just be other people's opinions and then mine was in it too. It was really emotional for me only because of the fact that that was my first time actually voting, actually like seeing everything. Um, so definitely emotional in that sense. With such a divide among the country, Garen says the reactions from both parties are what's going to stand out to her. She hopes that it will be a learning point for others going forward in future elections. Just the way that uh, everyone reacted, I think it's definitely going to stick in with me because it's something that I never really paid attention to until uh, now. I think for the future, I'm, it's like really unclear to kind of like say now. But I think a lot of people will pay attention, which is a good thing. Cabrini professor Dr. Raymond Ward says that the people should give Trump an opportunity to prove himself and was impressed with his ability to make a connection with the voters. I really liked a couple of people who were saying we should give Trump a chance. Um, I was impressed that he uh, definitely tapped into something and got a lot of people voting for him. Uh, I don't think it makes any sense to quibble over who has the popular vote or not. Perez says that even though everyone had different opinions, she enjoyed seeing how captivated people were for the event. It was very interesting to see how there were these different sides and these different opinions coming from everywhere, and then kind of seeing all of that boil down into just one moment. Even though there were so many different opinions, it was like everyone was tuned in, everyone was watching it because it's something that you really can't turn off in a way, because it's history. So as President Trump continues his first 100 days in the White House, Perez will look back on the inauguration as a point of history, not a point of divisiveness. I'll probably never forget it. Um, it'll probably be something that I will, a few years down the road, be able to say like, yeah, that's what I did. Um, that's what I lived through. For Lookwitter Media, I'm Brian Nestle.